All right, you guys, this one is a doozy. It's Carrie Barnum from New Shelves Books. We've been following a lot of the AI narration and what's happening in audiobooks lately. And news today of what Find A Way Voices is doing is super disappointing. And I think you guys should know about it. So I subscribe to Nate Hoffelder's um, blog and to his newsletter, which is fantastic. And he sends out this coffee chat newsletter every Monday. And today he sent out a newsletter. And one of the headlines was, did you know that Find Away Voices without authorization was letting Apple use authors audiobooks to train its AI? And so of course that got my attention and I clicked on over to it. Let me share my screen so that you can see what I was seeing and then what I went on to find and learn as we look through this. First, morning coffee again, Nate Hoffelder. And the top one right here, did you know that Find Away Voices without authorization was letting Apple use authors' audiobooks to train its AI? And I was like, no way, no way. So I clicked on it and it brought me over to this kind of blog website, um, the Bibliosphere. So. You can see there's a screenshot here, but it didn't have any of the branding from Find Away Voices. So I was like, okay, I get it. I would be very upset as a narrator if my voice was being licensed without my permission. Um, because if as the author or publisher, you did not narrate your own book, you've uploaded it to Find Away Voices you are giving permission for this narrator's voice to be licensed and used for AI machine learning, but they are not getting credit. They're not getting paid for it. And honestly, you don't have the rights to do that if you're not the narrator. I get the upset. But again, I didn't see anything branded here, so I wanted to do my own research. So let's start at the beginning with what we do know. We do know that Find Away Voices and Draft to Digital are owned by the same company. And we do know that Draft to Digital is working with Apple Books for authors, indie authors, to submit for digital narration. Uh, I know quite a few clients that I work with have received emails recently saying that if you would like to apply for Apple Books AI narration for your audiobooks, that you do it through Draft to Digital. You can see it all up here. It's got the information and how you can submit. So we do know that Drafted Digital or Find Away Voices is working with Apple Books. So we've confirmed that. The next step for me personally was to go directly to Find Away Voices to look in an account and look at the agreements. So if you go to Find Away Voices, log into your account, come down to the account settings, agreements, and you can see these agreements were signed back in October and uh, <laughs> automatically some of these things do um, update, the versions do update. And so that's something when you log in, it would say, you know, there's no agreements, do you agree? A lot of us look, click those and we don't even think about it, but I downloaded the agreement. And if you, Apple came up obviously for distribution, but also this machine learning bit that was on that blog came up as well. It is actually from Find Away Voices. I'll read it to you. Then we'll chat about it. Machine learning, right holders grant Apple a limited, non-exclusive, non-transferable, non-sublicensable right and license to use digital audio products files for machine learning training and models, provided that in no event shall any rights holder digital audio productions or portions thereof be provided to any third party or end user in contravention of this digital distribution agreement. For example, making rights holder content available for free to end users without express written consent. Right holders may revoke this right and license by sending notice to find a way as outlined in section 11. So it's true. If you are uploading your files to Find Away Voices, Find Away Voices is putting in your contract, automatically opting you in that you are giving permission for your audiobook files to be used for machine learning. And I've already mentioned why this is a problem because you own your files. You do not own the rights to your narrator's voice or talent. And I can't believe that this was slipped in here. I feel like it's super shady and I'm really disappointed, honestly, in Find Away Voices and Apple for this. And so 
I personally don't feel good about it. I will be recommending to my clients that they go and they revoke the right. So here's another thing. You're automatically opted in, but if you would like to revoke this right, if you would like to actually say no, not okay with that, you have to send in a notice to find away voices. All notices required under this agreement shall be sent by email to support at findawayvoices.com. So I personally, again, am going to be recommending to my clients that they opt out. That means they will be sending an email to support at findawayvoices.com so that they can revoke that right for machine learning. Because again, I think our narrators deserve support from us. I think that um, I think that it's just not our right to give away. So that's personally going to be my recommendation. That's what I will be recommending to clients and what I'll be doing myself. Um, of course, you can do what you will, but I couldn't really, I can't believe it, but I couldn't, it's just really disappointing to see that, to see that it was kind of slipped in there and automatically set up. So you guys tell me how you feel about it. Are you going to be staying in the program? Are you going to write to opt out? Or if you have questions about this, let me know. As anything changes, of course, I'll keep you up to date. Uh, but until then, I mean, you certainly have to do your own research and make your own decisions. But I did want to make sure that I verified that is in the user agreement right on Find A Way Voices. And if you're not okay with that, you do have to opt out. You have to send an email to support at findawayvoices.com and you need to mention that you're opting out of machine learning. So let me know how you're feeling about it and we'll stay on top of it for you.